the F110 transaction is used to create a payment proposal. This procedure is used to manually schedule payments in GFIBs for timely payment to vendors. Now we will demonstrate how to create a payment proposal in GFIBs. Type the transaction code F110 in the command field and press enter. Enter today's date in the run date field. For this example, we will use December 8, 2017. Enter EF500 in the identification field. Note, the two alpha characters indicates if the run is for checks or electronic funds transfer, EFT. Click on the parameter tab. Posting date will default to today's date. Check to verify. Docs entered up to field will default to today's date as well. Enter Army under Company Codes field. Tab over to Payment Methods. Select the drop down menu button and select Enter T for electronic funds transfer. Tab over to Next Pay Date field. Enter a date 30 days from today's date baseline date. Enter the vendor's cage code in the vendor field. Enter M in the exchange rate type field. Select the free selection tab. Click in the field name field and select drop down button. Select document and the green continue button if applicable. Double click on the document number and click the green continue button. Enter the invoice number in the values field. Select the additional log. Check the due date check. Check the payment method in all cases. Check the line items of the payment documents. Enter the cage code under the vendor from to. Select the status tab. Click Yes to save data. Note, first green light indicator and parameters have been entered will be displayed. Click on the proposal button on the menu bar. Click start immediately under schedule proposal display. Click green continue button. Note, a yellow warning triangle will be displayed. Press enter to turn green. Click the CEFT button on the menu bar. Click in any box in the CEFT vendor interface summary display area. Note, view messages to ensure that no errors has occurred. Click the green continue button. You have successfully completed this task.